Hello everybody once again, welcome back to another PvP Community League Season 1 video here. We have right now Vesud, Matt, JPL or Matt Japalang going up against Saga or PH Saga here. So for Matt JPL we have Olazel, the team captain who is a destroyer here, or V for Tempers, or a Gear Master, EST a Elastra and a Raid a Guardian. And in Saga we have Vince Kun a Tempers, Hime Hikari, a Gear Master, Lector, a Destroyer. Arashi, an uh, Inquisitor, and we have Fu Sing, which is a Majesty. So very similar lineups here with just the Inquisitor and the Majesty being different here. And we'll right now get to the videos. Hope you guys will enjoy their gameplay. So I believe everybody is very familiar with Matt and JPL here. They are winners of, I believe, the Rapture Gaming. I think they are champions previously. And PH Saga is definitely a very established team as well. So right now we see Obviv, a Tempest going against Hime Hikari, a, a Gear Master here. So when cut out iframe is used right from the start. Nice gravity grenade used defensive here. The back is used as well. As nice right now we can see oh Ovik got caught by bubble right from the start here. And even a ping pong here, that's 10,000 damage there. You can see 5.6k, two ticks, and the backup, the mecha bomber, the big mecha bomber there chasing Ovif there as a spirit boost is used right now. It's gonna go with a hacking. I mean no hacking stance, I mean hurricane dance, hurricane dance is avoided as well. As you can see right now, Ovif is down to 6% HP here. She's trapped by the gravity grenade once again. I think it's gonna be taken away right now. As he may curry grabs the first round from Mad JPL. So this is definitely you not know, expected in my own opinion here. As PH Saga doing extremely well here, definitely thumbs up for Hime Hikari here to win the first round from a Tempest as a Gear Master here. Even though she was pressured pretty quickly from the start, but the Gravity Grenade used defensively definitely used very well here. And then a Bubble Bubble as well. Well in Bubble Bubble by Hime Hikari definitely as we see right now. Aubrey, the Gear Master from Mad GPL coming up against. Hime Hikari, so it's a Gear Master mirror matchup at the moment here. So we need to watch out for the Ping Pong here. You see the first ping pong hitting he made curry I believe. It's at 82% HP, I think. As you can see, bomb ping pong bouncing here. And my goodness, a nice mecha dark eye frame usage from he made curry to avoid the eye the ping pong bounce from Aubrey here. Definitely very well done. You can see he made curry going down to 27% HP. Got caught by the icy pump tower as well. She's down to 15% HP, getting caught by the silence as well. The dark is biting him to death. Oh, the icy pump tower takes he made curry away. As Aubrey shows who is the better game master in this matchup here. But Hime Hikari definitely done well to show us to avoid the ping pong there with a nice mecha dark summoning iframe usage there. So it's one for one right now as we will see if Aubrey can take away another player here. And we'll see, oh, it's Fu Sing, which is the Majesty coming up next. I think it's supposed to mean force users. I'm force user ink, I guess. But right now the Majesty, Gravity Ball EX is defensively. Oh, nice Mega Dark iframe here used by Aubrey. Once again, very well done here. We saw her use that before. But a time stop here into time dodge to stack on Aubrey here. You can see the time stop counter still ticking. And a shockwave as well as she got backed out. As you can see, that full sync is actually. Oh, look at that. The gravity trap catching as well. 2% HP left. She's gonna get poisoned to death. Will she get poisoned to death here? And the void blast. Oh, the flash, the flash grenade here was used, but it wasn't good enough as the poison. 26 damage there on 0% HP Aubrey as she was taken away by Fu Sing. So right now we'll see what Matt JPL can answer. They have 3 members left here as I believe EST will be coming up next or we'll see Olazel, I'm not too sure. Indeed EST is out, I think they're not going to play around anymore. The Fusing Shield is used immediately here from EST. Freezing Sword catching right from the start. Bates the blink here, she goes in with the frost wind flinch here, into the normal attack poison spray, but nice, well time, reactive blink from Fusing, but look at that, the reactive blink from EST used once again very well, as EST walks to the gravity ball EX flinch here, I think that was a mistake by him, avoids the time stop there, but well time with the attack there, definitely very well done here, as the freezing field takes Fusing away, well time freezing field there after waiting for the air evasion from Fusing. So EST once again very well done. We all know that he's a definitely he's definitely a very fantastic Elastra here. And he's being put to the test in level 50 cap as we have not seen him for quite a while here. Not in show matches as well. As we'll see what he can do. He's going up against Lector, a destroyer here. Fusing shield used once again immediately here. Flame Spark flinch into Fusing Sword. Flying Swing EX is used. Nice counter here to bait the air evasion. The storm cancelled by a nice shock wave here. As EST nicely backs out, oh the freezing field is dodged by Lector, nicely done here. As I believe Kenshi says that Lector is actually a good 
Destroy here, look at that, the relief timing is fast, but a Glacier Wave, there's too much actually buffs on Lexa at the moment. As you can see, the Firewall, Super Armor used with the Ice Shield stacked up into a Chilling Mist on the Ice Spear here it is brilliant by EST. Once again, as you can see, Maelstrom how didn't cancel the Firewall there because Firewall itself has very high Super Armor. Coupled with the Ice Shield there, it couldn't be broken by Maelstrom how and we all know how Super Armor breaking Maelstrom how is as a skill. So EST right now has quite decent mana, 59% mana, actually finish, finishes off two opponents extremely fast here. As she's going up against Vince Crew in the Tempest from Saga. Freezing Sword catching Saga here, the area region is baited. Shockwave on the circle shot once again, you can see the flame spark into Glacier Wave here, into, Fre into Phoenix Storm here. And a firewall to prevent Vince Saga from baiting away. You can see EST very calm here, waiting for the spirit boost I guess. Look at that flame spark into freezing sword here. No chance at all from ESD. Three winning streak here. No time for spirit boost for for Vince Kun there, I believe. As ESD grabs another here. So is ESD gonna wipe the floor here? I'm not too sure. As we're gonna see who is the last member for Saga. As we see Arishi here as an Inquisitor. Will Arishi play enough? Defensive enough against EST avoids the flame spark well, but look at that, that was just a bait, the sliding step here into Freezing Sword, as right now he's stuck into the Poison Spray, and the Freezing Wall as well, he's in trouble right now, he's down to 50% HP, and even the 11,000 Freezing Field here, brings back memories on Cryo Magic here, with the Glacier Wave into Firewall here, and more combos, the Shockwave is dodged here, as you can see the Chain Lightning on EST, but will be enough, as EST wipes the floor, giving no chance at all to Arishi, Arishi the Inquisitor here, as we go into Game 2. So a raid the Guardian from Mad JPL will be the first member up against the Gear Master. I think this is a wise choice. As once again, Guardian has a very good game plan against Gear Master. Just wait for the DA, go in with the J Justice Crash and the Electric Spike combo here. A nice Hori Relic from Red right from the start to grab a nice lead on Hime Hikari. Oh, he gets caught by the bubble bubble even though he avoided it. That was unfortunate but you can see that Hime Hikari didn't quite manage to follow up. Block is used by a raid once again. Shin Breaker nicely dodged by Hiri, he made Hikari here, the Gravity Grenade once again used very well defensively, as you can see Array right now is trapped into a corner here, the big Mecha Bomber is used, oh it's avoided nicely with the Shin Breaker Iron Frame from Array here as the Guardian Force is used as well, Bubble Bubble avoided this time, you can see DA in front of the face of Hime Hikari, and we're going to see if Array can bait the, dump the tumbling and dodging skills, he does, as you can see the Justice Crash hits into the Electric Smite here, Hime Hikari is now down, 235% HP, the Lightning Zap is hitting as well I believe, indeed it does, the Lightning Zap is hitting on Hime Hikari at the moment here. Even the Stomping Kick as well, as right now Arid has a nice lead here. Set 76% HP. Once again the block used timely, once again by Arid, he heals up, he's at 90, 86% HP right now, avoids the bubble bubble as well. Like you can see right now, he's pummeled, he has run out of block counters here, he's trapped, he's slowed, he got hit by the Mecha Siren here. As you can see, Hime Hikari pressing on, he's in the wax at the moment, even the Skyline here. As right now, Array backs out, he's in trouble at the moment, the Gravity Grenade used as well, the Stunt of Faith is used, not too sure if that's a wise choice, but that definitely buys him time as he goes in with a Nitrogen Breaker here. As Hime Hikari backs out with a nice Rocket Jump here. The Bubble Bubble avoided as well, the Big Mecha Bomber prevented as well with the Stunt of Faith, but the timing is running out here, he'll get caught by the Gravity Grenade once again. As Hime Hikari does a nice comeback on a raid, grabbing the first victory from a raid here. Definitely very well done by Hime Hikari once again, a very decent game master from Saga. As a raid, stance of faith, counter timing was over, and a nice gravity grenade to trap him straight after prevents him from getting out of that little wormhole or suction effect. As right now we see Oriv going back against Hime Hikari. I think he wants some revenge at the moment in the first game. He waits for the Gravity Grenade this time, but he gets baited by the Gravity Grenade once again, the defensive Gravity Grenade as well, and he's got Silence here. As you can see, the counter at 2 seconds left, as he backs out once again, the Ping Pong Ping Pong. I mean the Ping Pong avoiding and the bubble as well, on Oviev. As you can see, the Spirit Boost, he's going in once again. He gets caught by the Silence once again, the Biochemical Missile, no, not the Silence here, but he got prevented from going in with his tip tops here, I think he was quite unlucky there. As he got silenced this time into Icy Pump Tower and the Alfredo Hurricane as he may carry goes into the two winning streak here. As obvious, I think he was quite unlucky for this round. He tries to go in with his spirit boost but got caught by a random flinch from the, I believe the cannon tower there. Not too sure which, which tower was there but he got flinched there, he got cancelled. And when he tried to enter once again, the gravity grenade and the defensive skills prevented him from going in once again. 
As you see right now, Olazel is actually going in. Olazel is actually going in. Once again, Mechadon iframe used very well by Hime Yukari here. As Olazel got caught by a nice circle swing that bit area region as the Tonzing Hao takes Hima Hime Yukari away. So well done by Olazel here, definitely. As right now we're gonna see if Saga is gonna send next. I mean who's gonna who is Saga gonna send next? We see Lector Destroyer going up against the Destroyer. So let's see who's the better destroyer of these two. Nice heavy slash there, he was trying to bait the Crisis House. Can you see Lector not buying the bait here? As he still has his Crisis House safe for Millstrom How, I believe. As the demolition fist from Olazil didn't quite match to connect. As Circle Swing is dodge. Demolition Fist counter on the Punching Swing, well done by Lexa. We see some counter breaks here as he got a lucky breaking point here on Olazel. As he goes into combo mode, even the rolling attack, but look at that. Area evasion for Olazel, safe, timely here. But he got caught by the Mushroom How, relief is used, get caught by the Storm instead, he's in trouble right now. But Lexa not quite managed to continue his combos here, get caught by a Punching Swing here. As you can see, both parties buffing out the Iron Skin here, as you can see, the whirlwind, the breaking point, preventing each other to move. They're taking turns right now, as you can see, Lexa used his Crisis How there. But his Cyclone X here not quite being seen here, I believe that's lag as Olazil didn't quite see at all as well. He's down to 15% HP. His area region is baited as his own Cyclone X is used as well, but will it be enough here? As you can see that Olazil is down to 6% HP. His own Mr. Hal is actually dodged with a nice area region timing, I believe. Circle Swing dodge. His Crisis Hal is baited as well. He goes in for a rolling attack here as Lector is on the ground right now. Nice dash blow counter here. Nice ring bombs as well. Flying swing avoider has got caught by the middle storm power as Lector grabs one from the back on Olazel here. Definitely unfortunate for Olazel there when you couldn't see the Cyclonex. I couldn't see it on my screen, not too sure if you can see it. You can see it. But definitely a thumbs up for Lector here from taking one round for his team saga. So I think EST is gonna be going up next, definitely. Indeed, EST is going up against Lector straight away. The one, the player that have taken away 3 players previously, or is it 4? He got caught by Frost Wind to a normal attack. The Irrevision is baited here, and the Freezing Zord takes Lector away as the Flying Swing, though reducing the damage was not quite enough there, as he was too low HP there. So once again, ESD showing us that she can take players out extremely fast here. So I wonder who will Saga stand up against her? They have 2 options left, I believe. They send Vince Kuhn the Tempest going up against EST. So once again, as the Tempest, you want to fight shield elemental lot, so you need to do the max DPS combo, go into the Spiral Kick and Spiral Vortex here, but I can see that the Freezing Sword yes, catching Vince Kuhn right from the start, as she backs out for now. Glacier Wave on the Binding Shot once again, it's a good counter here. As Vince Kuhn backs out after the firewall as well, the Hurricane does not finding a target as well. The Spirit Boost cancelled by the Freezing Few. Oh, the Freezing Few gets Vince Kuhn there after the Freezing Sword, I mean. That was beautiful play by EST once again on the counter ring shot to catch Vince Kuhn on the Freezing Few. Definitely very well done by EST once again with max Freezing Few, definitely with skewing probably. That was about 12,000 or was that 11,000 Freezing Few damage? I couldn't quite see there. As right now, EST is going up against Fu Sing, which is the Majesty. Defensive Gravity Ball EXA once again, a very nice flame stock flinch there to get his opponent into a Freezing Sword. Shockwave once again, cancelling the Nighttail's Laser. Glacier Wave didn't quite find a target here from EST. But the Freezing Fee once again, 11,000 damage there. That's huge. Bits the Bling there with the Flame Spark here. And a Teleport as well. As right now, Fusing is down to 26% HP, there's Ice Spear freezing as well, into the Chilling Mist here, she's in trouble right now. The Shadow as well, used more for utility, as you can see she was slowed to a halt as EST in a 3 winning streak once again. My goodness EST. A very strong Elastra definitely from Mad GPL in their team. But sadly we can't see Cryo going up against EST as they are both from different servers. As the last member will be Arashi, once again the Inquisitor. As EST definitely will, pu will be pushing his advantage here. Get hit by a Lightning Relic here, uses the Reactive Bling. I think that he's getting complacent here. The Freezing Sword EX finds his target the Frost Wind as well, into the normal attack Poison Spray once again. 
And the Freezing Fee once again, 11,000 damage on Arishi here. He's down to about 35% HP. He's in trouble right now. Shockwave has, is used as well. Once again, Frost Wind. Avenging Wave used. But a Glacier Wave once again into the Ice Field. He's definitely over, definitely. As ESD goes to the 4 winning streak to grab the win for Matt JPL here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video between Matt JPL and Saga. I think Saga is quite a decent team as well. But EST definitely too good here. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to catch the next, the previous video of Westwood between TJIF and Peril, which if you have not, since the server is on maintenance right now. So subscribe to our channels as I believe I think I have about 5 more videos to upload. I think the next one will be from Hollywood, 3 videos from Hollywood and another 2 more from Westwood, which will be Time Lost team. I think that's Team Zero here. So once again, thanks for watching. God bless and I'll see you guys next time.